Semper Temper Seraph. Semper Fee. Split Anvil, baby. Wrathful. That's my dude. You love the chair streams? Well, lucky for you, the chair streams every half minute. Can I handle the spikes? Can we handle the spikes? Yeah. Yeah, he said. No problem, he said. Should be easy, he said. What could go wrong? He said. Oh shit. Things are getting spicy. And I like spicy food, but this is a little too spicy. Life does pog as fuck. Life does pog as shit. This shit's free. Or so I thought. All right, pre-upgraded stuff. Let's see it. Battlestone, fledgling imp, magic power, piercing mirror. Oh, multi-strike welder helper. Man, what a good upgrade on such a shitty unit. Now we can give this rage. It's one break. Permafrost space prism. Permafrost packed morsels. Magic power mind collapse. My glass is pretty decent. The fastest risk rate in two and I have is like 11 minutes as a lunar item makes teleporters 33% faster. So you mean like all three stages or four stages? That sounds fast as hell. I didn't really feel do speedruns of that game. But I guess people make speedruns of any game, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Permafrost on these seems better on packed morsels, but I think my club is probably the better item. Better, the better one because of split anvil. We can make a big split anvil and play everything. So we can do damage and everything in between. I'm gonna go for umber unit. What do we got? A strength gorge. A damage with morsel master. A cheap tiresome climb. A meaty torch. A frozen shade slash <laughs> game. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of one of these bad boys. And then another one of these bad boys. Eight stages for the for the two, for the second game. Eight stages? In eleven minutes? Alright, this could be bad, this could be bad, this could be bad. Was this risky? Was this bad? Am I sad? Collapse. 
Aye, but I don't want to lose this girl. I'm curious. Check us out. Wait, and that gives me energy back, but that's OP. That's actually OP. Oh, shit. Way to dig darn in minute right here. I don't want to lose her. What's up, no handies? Loader has insane mobility and high damage. You don't need items. Loader is the new one, right? That I haven't really played with that much. And we won. This shit was too easy. This shit was too damn easy. My girlfriend was wondering... Oh, someone's at the door. I'll tell you right now. Uh, I'm half Cuban. Half Cuban and my mom's European. I got a lot of mix. I got a, I got a whole mix of things. Just like German, English, Irish. I don't know. I had to do, I had to do DNA tests. But my dad's Cuban. And from, you know, from there, from Spain, you know. So Spain, Cuba, from his lineage. And then my mom has a whole European mix. I don't know for sure. I always mix it up. I don't know if it's German or English or Irish. I'm not sure for sure. I played Risk of Rain too. I haven't played really the new content that much. All right, we got Permafrost this. It's not a bad spell because of An Anvil. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We got buff. Let's try it out. Got a nice buff. This is a plus 10 strength Ember Forge. Ooh, this is a Permafrost Prismal Dust. Yeah, I'm going to do this. These are some really good upgrades. Oh, I want an artifact for another unit? Or... Yeah. I do. Oh, I might want this. When you want to start a fight against all, even when you lose, then you're German. Most amount on each floor is interesting. Refracting lens could be useful, but I don't. How much consume do I have? One, two. I'll do this. I like this. Oh, Alpha Fiend. Oh, shit. Branded Warrior or Alpha Fiend? This got buffed. Let's try the buff one. Oh, but it's big. It's too big. It's too big, yeah? Ah, eh, fuck it. We'll try it out. Copy a card? Everything only has one upgrade exactly, so I don't I don't feel like feel like upgrading that much. If I were to up if I were to duplicate something, what would it be? Damn, Mr. Minos got his fingers on the wrong keys, but I got I, I, re, I, re, I know what you mean. I see it. I see it. I read through that. I read through that. Alright. So but how good is like having more than one Prismal Dust in your hand? I don't know. I mean, it is Permafrost. That, that's a good question, Onion Lord. Maybe. It might. And if it does, that might be an easy way to win the challenge. And a very appropriate thing at that. A very appropriate artifact. Hmm. Space Prism is like, whatever. I don't really have that many things. To, five upgrade, Five duplications is crazy. That's excessive. That's crazy. Hmm. Hmm. 
Let's try something. I'm low on life. Got him. Oh my god. That's four energy next turn. Hot diggity damn. I said a hot damn. Look at that damage. Wait, did I fuck this up? Thank you. For a second I was like, wait a minute, did I do something wrong? It's approaching wrong though. Oh, but Prisma Dust saves me the day, huh? Loki, I want to get transfer in the mix. But I also want to do Prismal Dust so that I can just stack up uh, armor here. So. So, so, so. What is more important? Mom's doing it, mom's doing it. Boom. Put it on the docket. That man is out of control. Deal five damage, apply seven rage. That's kind of good because that's decent too. The reason why this is decent is because this gives you split anvil for the X cost that you put, and then it gives you energy. These are some crazy cards. The fact that it's permafrost is quite nice. The other one is um, permafrost as well, which, I mean, rage, is, rage stacks up pretty consistently, right? So if I put rage on my, my prints, it makes a difference. There's also 5 direct damage. I'm gonna do mitosis. Mitosis is too good, I think. Multi strike collector. So, this is what I can put in the lane with Morsel Master. Is this guy? I'm down. I think we're good on energy. Ish. Ish. Are we? Are we good on energy? Yeah, we are. My knees is out and about. I'm being so lackadaisical right now.
Okay. So, I want to remove. A, well, maybe one duplicate. What would I duplicate here? Another morsel master, and make this guy have all the scaling he could ever desire. What about another mitosis? Guys, whenever I say mitosis, I, I want to I want to listen to the song. And please forgive me, guys. And also, I'm gonna pause the, the gameplay because that is gonna be copyright. So. Whenever I hear the word mitosis, this is what I'm thinking about. I gotta stop this. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Alright, shit, man. Music is too good. Why is music so good? It sucks. Looks like copyright exists, huh? Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Just cause you feel it doesn't mean it's there. I think we could do this with spell shows. So what spells are good for us right now? We have horn break, that's quite nice. Especially this guy that has 50 armor spell shield is quite detrimental, I must say. On top of that, all right, we skip it. Just cause we feel it doesn't mean it's there. All right, what's up, big boys, big fellas? Wait, how do I get lethal here? I'm so confused. How do I have lethal? Would you pick, would pick next card for this game work as well? I and mean, you can try, I don't know, I'm not really respecting pick next card right now. Oh, I get damaged. Oh my god, this shit is nuts. Oh my Becky, look at that butt. Becky, please. Take a gander. Oh my, my guy's out of control already and he just started. Just cause you feel it doesn't mean it's there. My guy has 69 attack and he just got started. I take it back. I take it all back. The guy's got 85 attack and he just got started. Meanwhile, over in this lane, Magma Eater is eating their brains out. Oh my god. This shit is out of control. And I'm getting life like nobody's business. Good afternoon, Amphi. Good afternoon, man. How you doing? I'll check this out. Boom! More life steal for this man? That's a little bit rude. He doesn't deserve all that life steal. Alright. Actually insane. Not even close. It's not even close. 
Just cause you feel it Doesn't mean it's fair Alright, so I kind of want to keep stacking up this rage. I don't know, this is interesting. This gives me rage and armor and a holdover. Okay, this gives me random consuming spells back. So consuming spells that I have are prismal dust. What else? Space prism. That's it. This does damage to an amount of armor, which sometimes I do. The beta goes live on the 16th of July. In three days. What's up, Timothy Wolf? I can hold on to this one. It's good to go. You know what? Sign me up, brother. Furnace tap. Okay, the fact that this furnace tap is as Ember Drain 8 is rough. But the multi strike. There's some changes later today as well. On top of the 16th? That's crazy. Descending could be good. We can descend everything into one lane. That'd be nuts. What can we do? What can we overstack? We could overstack the champion lane. And then we can make the mid lane or the top lane with the Marshall Master and the Crucible Collector its own singular lane, its own ecosystem of, of scaling and goodness. An ecosystem of thrivingness. It's going to be thriving in its own little lane. And then we can overstack another lane and use the mid and the bot lane as the interchangeable, interweaving field of uh, destruction, I suppose. So that sounds okay to maybe do Kaven. And we can also, like, bring things back down. You know, I think Kaven's fine, but Furnace Step is okay. Let me think. Multi-Strike 2 ends the game. But... Ember Drain 8 means I should probably use it only towards the end. Okay, I'll use it towards the end. I don't need any permafrost on it though, which is uh, not doable. Just cause you... Sorry, now I have a song in my head and everybody's gonna be writing about it in the comments like, here goes Jeremy with writing, singing a song again. Sing Song McGee, back at it again. They, they hate to see me sing. They hate to see me singing. Sing Song McGee back at it again. Remove Consume. Sounds fun. It's not just me. Alright. So this gives um, plus two to all enemies, but it's going to have multi-strike. This is a 605 unit that has multi-strike, which does give me more rage, to be fair. Multi-strike gives me more rage for my champion, but my champion is going to be harder for it to stay alive. I'm down to try it out. All right, so technically... My champion should be getting rage out of his mind right now. Right? Dory, you're too nice. Dory, Dory wants VIP. During, how do you want VIP and when do you want it? Just let me know, man. Speaking of that, uh, Dupac, how do you want it? So, there's a tad bit of a conundrum here. Takes a hit, then I take two, then I take four, two, four, ten, fourteen, fourteen plus twelve, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight is the exact amount of my health. This 
This is sad, but I've got to do this. Y'all ready? You ready for this? I mathed this out. The math is complete. Sit back and let it happen. Nah, I couldn't play virtual there. Because I needed to play Martial Master. This Martial Master needs to be played, and I can't play virtual because it's three costs, it needs to be played. Now, this guy wants to stay alive in some kind of way. Alright, so. I want a damage shield on my champion, but. I, I played a zero energy. True. True, because it has plus 10. True, 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 true. And more true, and true. True. Uh, this guy can't survive, actually. This is awkward. I can't keep my units alive. Uh, I can't keep this unit alive. I mean, technically I could if I don't want to give this guy his life steal. Okay. This guy's gonna be huge. <laughs> Fuck. What's up, Ventus? This guy's gonna be huge. Uh, that's problematic. Because then, th if I get this guy to take 12 damage now, let's say I prevent the 12 damage. But then this guy still does way too much damage. Way too much damage. He's gonna end up doing 14 times 2, which kills me. So I need to put morsels to stop that. This guy's gonna destroy my pyre, though. I need better AoE, because these little sycophants are actually problematic. My champion is huge, but everything else is trou troublesome. It's gonna destroy my pyre, isn't it? So I can make it do, I can do 40 to it. So it's, it's going to take two pyre hits, which means it's going to do 56 damage to my pyre. That thing is doing 56 damage to my pyre. Now, luckily, I have... Luckily, I have... Uh... Oh, we're fine. Ah. Ah, uh, so if I torch this guy, this guy stays alive, but then if I torch this guy, then I, I s Oh, this is so awkward. So this guy's gonna end up dying. I can't save both of them. Oh, we're in this conundrum again, where if I torch one of these guys, I keep this guy alive. If I torch this guy, 
I keep this guy alive. And then I also make so that I don't take an extra 28 to my pyre. So by torching this guy, I'm saving 28 pyre damage. But by letting this guy die, how much pyre damage am I taking? So 56 pyre damage is going to be rough. We furnished that now. Oh shit, yes. Oh my god, we furnished up now. Whoa. I can kill two of them. I can kill all three of them. And I will take send his advice because the magic power exists. Not that it matters in the situation, but it's a good thing to remember. And that's going to give us energy next turn. Just kidding, they're all dead. And if we kill the boss here, we take no power damage. And oh my god, what happened? Well, we die before we can do anything, and can I science this? Can we, like, can we just, look, let's come to terms, let's be honest here, all right? I did a lot of errands today. I did groceries. I woke up, like, at 11. I, I went to sleep pretty late, right? I had a late start to the day. I was eating breakfast right before I got on stream, all right? It's my first cup of coffee. I'm warming up. So, let's just... Let's just try this again. Mi amigos. Mi amigos lindos. Por favor. Por favor, mi amigos lindos. Mira esto. Mira. Qué bonito. Y que mejor. I mean, siempre mejor. Increíble. Cuando poner arriba a uno, todo es más simple. Ay, ay, ay. Es, es un importante idea, idea. Media un poco más mejor de abajo. Muy fuerte. Fuerte idea. Idea, idea. Idea. Uh, salud. Oh, shit. Salute, salute, salute. Problem... Problema... Yes, uh... Los psicofantes is... Mm. Ay, pero mira esto. Eso tiene... Yikes. Necesito A o E. Necesito A o E. En España dice A o E, por favor. A o E ahora mismo. A o E ahora mismo. A 
Ah, oe, oh, vamos a ismo. Pone ahí. Y. Pone ahí. Y todo es muy bien. Bien, pero no bien. ¡Nio! ¡Nio! La hora me... Pussy. No, no pusiste. Man, I wish Spanish was easier for me. I wish I was a lingual man. A multilingual dude. Alright. Check this out. Boom. Así. Y así. Y así. Y también así. Perro, yo quiero energía. Se pone así. Y ahí. Ahora yo tengo una champion más fuerte y tiene salud. Salud, salud, salud. Ay, pero no puedo pierce, pierce al, al frente. Yo quiero pa, 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 ping, 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 ping. Muerta, mata, mata. No, no puedo. Mm, yo tengo esto, pero no tengo muercitos. Eh. Y todo es finito. Solo me tomo cuatro años en español. Perdóname. Mi español es muy malo. Perdóname. So, this is quite bad because we have no train stewards in our deck. Now, there is a challenge that says every unit is of every type with of every... Basically, every unit has every archetype. And this would be absolutely insane. Because I have the suspicion that all the units count as stewards. But I could be wrong. But I definitely want to try it out. I kind of just want to re-roll, re-roll, re-roll until we get advanced prototype and make the most clickbait awesome YouTube run ever. We're going to do that right after this. So stay tuned. Because right after this, we're going to do something sick. MP says that it works. You're better off with Remnant Host. Anthony, do you work on the game? Or are you like part of the game team? Because you mentioned that there's going to be some changes later today about some little birdie. And I'm putting some context clues together. Cool, man. Better off with Remnant Host. So what do you, what do you mean by Remnant Host? Remnant Host, Remnant Host. Refer, drive my memory, drive my memory. Do I want Impressive here? Ah, drafts on death. Oh, I want to try that. Oh, yes. I remember. I know what you're talking about. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Things can get nutty with that. Yes. Man, that challenge in particular can spawn the most crazy things. Wow. Breaks the game, actually. It absolutely breaks the game. Do I have enough imps to sacrifice? Fledging, fledging. Yeah, this seems fine. Like, as a one of. Um, I don't know if I want this. Permafrost is interesting though. Damage shield seems good though. I'll do it. I'm adding a lot of one ofs. Uh, I feel like I'm not thinking too much about the complete logistics of my deck. Uh, so we can go for an artifacts and we can do some some removal and some stuff at the shop as well in terms of duplications what would we want to duplicate because we have the option to duplicate here or here and i think to myself okay so what the deck has right now is a crucible collector they can put in the top lane and although it's low on life it can do some life still stuff and maybe survive and help with leakage a little bit and maybe scale with morsels of some type and then we have a champion that's actually quite strong that we want to keep alive with damage shields and other things and damage 
uh, damage spells to kill enemies that may affect it. And we also have... It's very basic, that's pretty much it. I, I, I literally named the two things that this deck is doing. Hmm. Okay. So, can we take something in our deck, duplicate it, and make it go further beyond, and take that concept, those two things that I'm doing, those two core things, and just make it stronger? So, like, for instance, Battery and Ram. This can take the idea of me making sure my Humperance has armor, and making sure he stays healthy, and then turn that into offense. So, I can take my adherence to making him super beefy and defensive, and so, like, a boon to the next level, right? So we have two of these permafrost battering rams. How much value am I really going to get out of this? This is not really an armor deck. Sure, he gets armor when he slays, but that's very inconsistent in this current deck, right? So this by itself is already looking kind of awkward. It's like a one of for a reason. If I were a betting man, or not even a betting man, if I was a man who could break the game, I would make it as like not even a one of, but like a half of. But of course, we don't deal in these half cards. I'm basically trying to say that it's like sometimes not even good at all. Um, but maybe we can fix that. Maybe we can fix that by finding more armor in the future. In terms of shade spitters, now that I have gem trove, I think I'm less reliant on needing shade spitter for my morsel production. The thing is, we want to make sure we have morsel production. So, because Stratomantosis is an amazing card, whether you're chump blocking, whether you're scaling a unit, whether you're using it for energy. I mean, there's a lot of things that Stratomantosis can do. So, of course, having motion production at the ready is very nice. And Gem Trove, I think, in the very least, can necessitate the ability or can allow me to just remove one Shade Spitter in place of it. I think that seems just fine. And matter of fact, instead of trying to, like, add Impressive for these fledgling limbs that I got randomly, I'm probably more inclined to want to remove them altogether. So what if I remove these fledgling limbs? Now, unfortunately, this Impressive that I put into the deck and make the deck sort of bare bones. Like, I can even remove a torch. So I think I can remove a Shade Spitter and a torch here and feel fine about that. Again, the deck's still lacking something in particular. I don't know if an artifact can change that. Artifact can help me with energy purposes. It can also help me with um, like giving multi-strike. If I get multi-strike on demons, well then it's a wrap. The, the card frames are changed, so you can unlock card frames. I unlock this, and I, I'm using it. I like it. It's nice. Ideally, I want to unlock the the, uh, the ultimate one, which is complete all challenges. So that's the next goal. You get a nice, nice, really nice frame. At least it looks nice when it's all grayed out. Beta's going live on the 16th. July 16th. Three days. But a little birdie told me that a little birdie told him that there's some changes later today as well. But on the 16th is the big patch. Um, I'm going to do this. I just talked about removing and I ended up... Hmm. I made a mistake there. It's okay. Let's see what we got here. So, we can get... more stuff on our units and i don't know what more dead weights we can take and get more sustain on our pyre and uh, this we can do ember stasis but cost of ember does not work with spilled anvil yeah so ember stasis is a little bit awkward too although it could be useful for this next boss but it takes my whole energy for that turn if this worked with spilled anvil it would be a little bit broken and would definitely be a snap pick but i only have three energy as a base so this taking my whole turn to do 100 damage that might be what i need to do for a turn that's all i need to do for a turn but most of the time that's not all i want to do for a turn adding three more dead weights in place of like more uh damage on all my units this could be useful i wonder if this honestly so this was insane for dante deck you guys are going to see that video coming tomorrow. The Dante Champion Challenge. I got this. And because of Dante getting Blights and more multi-strike, he also got more damage. It was an insane combo, clearly. But when you don't have Dante, how good is this? Because you're getting three more dead weights. My card draw is not that fantastic. In fact, my card draw is one of my weak points. 
in place of s marginal increase in damage for everything, including morsels. So then Shroud Mitosis becomes a damage spell. Five, Shroud Mitosis becomes a damage spell. Does that seem relevant to have my morsels become big hitters as well? It becomes a bad thing if they have spikes. If the enemy has spikes, that becomes a bad thing. So morsels that normally wouldn't attack, now attack. So my touches adds damage, of course, yes. If it's not in the top lane. But... In, uh, probably wants to be in the top lane. Maybe I should have tried it just to see how it feels just on average. I might be sleeping on that relic a little bit. I might be sleeping on the relic. Especially if I end up getting card draw even again for the next upgrade. I can't tell if Ampy would have liked it or not. He said shrug, and I guess it's indifferent, but I wonder if Ampy was secretly thinking to himself. Yeah, the five attacks damn good. This is awkward. I'm gonna take five higher damage, but I can scale up, right? Hmm. Ah, but the problem here is that Ah, uh, I wanna Ah. Uh. Yeah, I, I usually I skip that event quite a lot, but yeah. Okay. So what if I do this and then make my guy have life still here? So he's gonna take damage, but he can heal it up. And then maybe I can ascend him up later, right? He's gonna be solo dolo though. Ah, uh, that's fine. I can get my champ no, I think this is fine. We're gonna take five power damage here. He has a lot of life still. That's right, good. He's staying alive. Alright. Weight of contrition here. Um, what do I want to put this in this lane? I want to put it in the crucible, right? I want crucible to be scaling. Or maybe my chain my heartbreaker prince is just better than anything else, isn't it? The like, crucible is like okay, but I think the heartbreaker prince has more potential because he's gonna be my furnace tap carrier. So I'm gonna do this actually. I do want to kill these units, but I also want to stop these absolvers. Hmm. Hmm. I could save life. I think I want to stop the absolvers. Do I give this guy damage shield or I give my champion damage shield? I don't, do I waste it now? I can use it at a much better turn, right? Yeah. Feels like I'm wasting energy, but... What's up, Killer Sub? It's going pretty well, man. I'm getting all these... These, uh... Yeah, ooh, okay. Okay. So, this would be a good time to do Prismal Dust, right? But then I have to... Look at all these damn... Scourges. Hmm. I don't want to get these cards to my face, you know? So I have an idea. Clean turn. Clean turn. First up now. Uh, I wish I want to freeze this in some way. Impressive was uh, hmm, awkward. This guy is not getting as, nearly as much rage. I mean, it's unfortunate. I don't want to do first step now. I give him health though, which is fantastic. Alright, this is fine. I have two Prismal Dust. I might as well use one, but if I was going to use one, I'll, I'll, use, I'll save him. The damage doesn't be quite useful, especially in conjunction with Furnace Tap. Which, by the way... That does damage. 
Ah, uh, so does this. Hmm, okay, okay. I want to use both. Okay, maybe I just take five to the face in order to get rage now, I think. I think it's too good to pass up. The other problem is these guys are thriving a little bit. I'm going to take... I'm not scaling this guy at all, which is sad, but I'm going to take uh, 12 power damage, which is fine, because I do have sustain. And for the one, for the first time in my life, I have sustain on my deck, and I feel okay about it. And I think I'm going to take 5 power damage. So I'm taking 12, 17 power damage, but I have sustain is how, what I'm saying to myself. For the first time in my life, I feel like I have genuine sustain. This is probably one of the better sustain relics. At least in my experience. So, so if we had Pensive Remains, this would have been a significant damage increase. And this is a, a situation where Pensive Remains would have been useful. Uh, now, I'm curious because Space Prism... Like, I, if anything, I want to ascend this unit at, when it's all said and done. So, it's important that if I ascend it, then I'm going to need space in that lane anyways. We're taking 12 more power damage here, and we're gonna have to rectify that with by playing our consume spells. Let's not forget it. Damage rope. Wow, and our energy is fantastic because of the uh, morsels. Okay, so I can probably afford to do this. Like absolutely. This has been into some more power damage. How do I prevent that? If I get double rage to my dude, um, six times two is 12. So it's gonna do an extra 24 damage. Which means that this guy's gonna die. No, not quite. He's still, damn, that sucks. He's still, it's still another 12. All right, we're taking another 12 for the face, which is, not ideal. But if I put them here, the Fletcher Limbs here, then I actually end up getting lethal in this, which could make a difference. And then this guy, fortunately... Unfortunately, I'm going to take another 12 damage. Let that be the last damage I take. Alright. Alive. I mean, I want to send them, right? Theoretically. The deck's a little bit weird. I can't necessarily say that it's good. We got we got tiresome climb and we got furnace tap. It's probably a wrap. Should be a wrap. Unfortunately, I'm taking 10 damage. Oof. That's killer. So the, 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 the dark underside of Ember Drain is scourges. 
10 damage is the dark underbelly of Furnace Tap and, and Ember Drain. But on the bright side, we can kill the champ with ease, right? Damn, took a lot of damage. Trample is quite interesting. Whoa, Alloy of the Ancients is very good. It is consumed, so I get to sustain its armor, so I keep my guy alive. And then the armor turns into damage because of my battering ram. Whoa. But since my guy has so much damage sometimes, Trample is also quite good. Because you notice we struggle with AoE. And Trample is AoE. I can take the big rage champion that is doing so much damage and turn it into uh, the ability to kill multiple things in a lane. And that could be very useful, especially coming up to Seraph. The problem is Out of the Ancients is very good as well. 50 armor is no joke. It also turns into damage. Not only by keeping my guy alive. If the guy's alive, he's able to do damage because he's not dead. That's a forehead moment. But also, Battering Ram, which I just said. I'm still thinking. I think Trample might be more useful just because we do struggle with low health, multiple enemies. Unfortunately. And out of the Ancients with double stack has to go. Breaks our heart. I think card draw yet again is still the best thing here because of things like Mind Collapse. The more we draw into it, the more often we have energy for Mind Collapse. And the ability to kill Seraph's little Pyre Wings. Not Pyre Wings, but the Shade Wings. Let's go ahead and remove and look at the spells. Oh, we can look at artifacts. We do have a lot of money. If I were to upgrade a spell, I can only upgrade things like a Shade Splitter, which is useful. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Um, Pyro is okay. I mean, that is another trinket. Plus, um, a Concealed Cavern, which is not bad either. Right, I'll check it out. Rage has industrial stack. That's great. Rage does not decay. Whoa. And summon abilities. Am I crazy or these are all really good? So summon abilities would be things like the imps. We're not really going on an imp deck, so summon abilities are not as good. But the both rage trinkets have to be pretty decent. And this could be a verifiable rage deck. Let's try this out. Is that Valley's Grey? Offer health. Very good. Wow. Are we high rolling or what? This is like me going into TFT and getting Jin, Shaco, and Jarvan 2 in the first three floors. Wow. Are we high rolling or what? What would we duplicate at this point? At this point, we could duplicate. Do we duplicate re ritual battle because of the whole rage mechanic? Or do we rather do, uh, remove? I'd rather remove. And wowie, wowie. What a fantastic floor. I would like some more gold, but the sweep ember drain. The sweep ember drain is rough. The armor I can handle because I have piercing. I need to get my horn break more often. So I might even want to duplicate the horn break because there are some armor units throughout the rest of the run coming up. And horn break can handle those things, especially if it's your wings, right? This guy is the biggest uh, doozy. The. Uh, Sweeper that's gonna be with 12 damage sweeper Now gem trove can handle that but it's still rough It's a lot of money though Hmm that is a lot of money Can my guy handle that? I didn't, I didn't get out of the engine, so my my defense is not that great. I don't have life steal, at least not consistently. And I didn't get out of the engine, so and I, of course I get 25 armor when I slay, which is fantastic. But I have to guarantee that I slay. 
And uh, without out of the ancients, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried that I can. Um, I'm gonna pass, but I can imagine the world where I can do that as well. I don't know. Am I okay with this? Putting in the same lane? I get more value. If I put in the same lane, I get more value out of Rage Imps. But I need to get my Consume Spell, which is my Space Prism. If I don't get Space Prism, then this is fine. We got Space Prism. So the problem here is that this guy gets rid of my morsels right now. We're gonna have so much energy next turn, it's insane. So much energy that I don't wanna waste Prism Dust. Cause I was thinking I could waste Prism Dust, but we're gonna have so much energy that I'm gonna hold on. I mean, look at the energy. If there's ever time to do like Prisma Dust, it's probably now, right? You know what? Even better. Even better. Hear me out. We do Morsel Master into Shade Spitter. The problem is, am I really going to be scaling the top lane? Or would I want to be scaling, like I said, my Hamburger Prince? Because he's the guy that's going to be Ember Drain. I mean, Furnace Tapped. I was supposed to make space here. I mean, I could do this. You ready? I could, I could do best, best of both worlds. So uh, I could do both. I could do both. I could do both. Don't worry. I could do both. Don't worry. I'm getting so much sustain as well. I mean, it's, it's glorious. It's gorgeous. And this is very setup y because we're we're still waiting for this space person in order to make this effective lane. But now it's here, it has arrived. Now if we place a unit, we get energy back. The problem is everything else is collapsing. I'm gonna take some leakage. All right, we can we can we can survive this lane actually. Let's survive. Okay, so Ember is really rough, and I only have three energy, but we can survive this. So if we play. Believe it or not, if I play Furnace Tap, I won't have energy for the rest of the fight. But the fight should be over. No, I shouldn't do it now. The fight should be over if I do Furnace Tap though. No, I shouldn't. Okay, so if I do this and this, I get two energy back, three energy back, and then I can play... Uh, battery, Ritual Battery, Battle, and then I can play a Tiresome Climb here. I mean here, Tiresome Climb there, and then... Alright, so we figured it out, right? I'm not wrong about this, right? This still procs house banner, right? Thank you. Yeah. Amber drain. I mean, the sweeper sucks, but this is the best case scenario. Furnace up now, though. I'm curious. I mean. Where's homebreak when you need it? I should definitely duplicate homebreak. Look at how, look how much value homebreak we get here. Wow, we are out of energy. But if we play this, we get energy back. So beautiful. And now we can do gem trove. Wow. But what about this lane? 
This guy's gonna do how much damage to my, my face? I need to play Fledgling Imp as well. I'm not playing Fledgling Imp, which I need to do. So the challenges are uh, no fluff. All cards have one less fewer upgrade. But the drafts and reward packs come with a random upgrade, and I can duplicate in the shop for some money. Um, challenges are something coming out on the 16th, which is if you get beat a Covenant 25, you get expert challenges, which is random mutators with varying d degrees of difficulty to spice up the game and make the game a little bit harder, more strategic, which I'm a big fan of. All right, so here's the thing. If this guy leaks, I do 40 damage, right? I'm gonna take three hits, so it's only 10 damage. I'm taking 12 damage. I'm taking 12 power damage. Okay, uh, that's sometimes that happens. Sometimes it'd be like that. Oh, that's a morsel minor. Oh no. I actually kind of need feast. I kind of need feast, guys. Uh, feast is really good for this deck. I get less rage like this. I get less rage, but then this guy dies next turn. They're not, yeah, these are not random. These are designed, so. Saying random was the wrong word. Yeah. These are thought out challenges and with different concepts in mind. They're not random. They're pretty well thought out. What's up, Jeffrey? I mean, this is a card frame. All right. I get less rage. If so I kind of want to take a hit. Wait, do I get rage when I damage show? Damage show doesn't make me take rage, right? So one of the problems is that by getting damage show, I actually don't get rage. That's kind of my fault. Because I don't think we get... Yeah, we don't get... Rage to damage field. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah, we don't get rage to damage field. Alright, so we need to find a way to... Like, I need to get... I think Feast would be very good for this deck. Horn break? Didn't get horn break. Yeah, me not getting rage is actually making my deck a lot worse. Because my guy hasn't scaled up now. Hmm. I don't have enough space to play Fledgling Imp as well, which I kind of want to do. E, a little bit awkward. This gives me energy next turn, which is pretty important. Um, twenty-five damage. It allows me to play the Legend Imp. Um. Hmm. So this is twenty two damage. Pyro's not immune. Tires from climb. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Pyro doesn't mean to Ember Drain. If that's it can't get Ember Drained. Alright, so I can ascend this guy up. I can also just pierce this. Pierce this guy and then fight this guy head on. If I send this guy up, then I'm taking... I think it'd be better to send this guy... Send the, send the boss here, right? Disney Super is nice, yes. Because then I, I, I barely take any damage. I take... Um, uh, 8 damage. But I can also daze the boss and get a head start in damage. Because two days is pretty significant. And if I horn break this guy, then all right, I do 28, 20, 48 damage here, and I only take 12 power damage, which is fine. I think dazing the boss is better. 
And matter of fact, if I do f 24 here, okay, 22, plus 48 is exactly 70. 70 means that this guy takes exactly two, I take eight damage anyways. Brilliant. Guys, my guy doesn't have a lot of armor. He has too much damage shield. It's a little awkward. And GG. Get a random consuming spell. So consuming spells that are mine are gonna be things like Furnace Tap, Prismal Dust, Prismal Dust, Space Prism, Umberstone. Move into the front and apply armor. Applying armor could be useful. Applying rage is not bad, right? This isn't bad, because the rage doesn't decrease. I think that the rage potion is actually quite nice here. True so I think this is really good because it's a good way to dump our energy. I think Trap Spike's fantastic. Coffee's coffee's kicking in, boys. We are We're on the fifth gear right now. Nothing can stop me right now. Five minutes later he dies to Seraph. Well okay. Look, I'm being overzealous, I'm being overconfident, but this leads to either great success or could catastrophic failure. In which case both of those are very entertaining to watch. I only have one upgrade. So whatever upgrades I have is what they have. So I can't upgrade any of them to Freeman. I can go with 28 life and a dream. And over here I can get gold and try to get another trinket. Now the merchant of steel. Okay, I can duplicate another card. So let's say if we were to duplicate, this would be how we finalize our deck. If we were to duplicate one thing and one thing only, I think Shroud Spike, because there are times where we need to just drink these morsels and get them out of the way. And uh, if I were to remove, I kind of wait. I kind of duplicate home break. Didn't we talk about duplicating home break? We did. We duplicate home break. We duplicate home break. All right, we talked about this. We duplicate home break. And I actually think I remove like Batter Ram is a curse. I think we remove Impressive. I made a mistake with Impressive. I'll, I'll admit it. I made a mistake. Yeah, I think I remove one Shade Splitter and one Impressive. We don't get full value out of merchant trinkets. That's fine. I mean, impressive could still be useful, yeah? I only have two imps. Yeah, impressive was a mistake. It's okay to admit mistakes. Alright, now if we were to duplicate another card, I can purge or remove another card, or I can duplicate something. Um, so, well, I think I can actually, if I get some slays going and my, my goal is to try to set up some slay, I think the armor could be useful. I'm going to try to make armor a thing. I definitely can't let this guy die. So if I were to duplicate, I think gem trove, it's a little bit awkward because the gem trove doesn't allow me to get rage. And if I don't get rage, this is up to yes. If I don't get rage, then I'm not getting slay. And if I don't get slay, I don't have armor. If I don't have armor, then right, you guys get the chain of events, right? So... Instead of removing a card, and that's it. I can duplicate one more card. And that could be Shroud Spike. Which has Permafrost, which is actually quite insane. Shroud Spike is fantastic. But you know what really makes Shroud Spike fantastic? Is when I have Morsel Miner. And you know what gives me Morsel Miner? Gem Trove. This gives me damage shield to stop the Ember Drain. Because you know how I have Morsels? Put the morsels die to Ember Drain. Right? The pyre the pyre guy, the pyre wings, he does sweep. So this can keep my morsels alive. And of course this also makes my champion not get raged, but it's okay, it's only one damage shield. Keeping my morsels alive is better. 
But then I only have one Shroud Spike. Another collector. We can't large stone. So guys, this is preloaded. Everything has one upgrade slot, and the upgrade slots are already taken care of. So I cannot upgrade anything. The shops are not here for upgrades. They're here for removals and duplications. I've been avoiding shops like the plague for that specific purpose. Oh, just so you guys missed it. Cards come pre-rewarded, pre-upgraded, and you only have one upgrade slot. Now, unless you get the artifact that gives you the extra upgrade slot, I can't do anything about that. Alright, the last upgrade, the last upgrade, make this deck pop off, would be keeping my Morsels alive with Gem Trove, or secondary Shroud Spike. How am I going to handle the Sweeper guy? I need to be able to get a lot of rage so that my trample is significant I need to be able to get a lot of rage so my trample is significant and the best way to get my, get my, get my guy rage is to make sure he can slay alright gem trap is pretty good prismal dust is actually quite bad for my champion. He needs to be taking damage. In fact, Dark Deal will be good because Dark Deal does damage. Shroud's not that good because the Morsels are low quality. I already have two Shrouds. Two is enough. And the big problem is that the better Morsels come from Gem Trove and Gem Trove only. But Pack Morsels would do wonders here. But the, the AoE Ember Drain is going to be a problem. I'm doing this. Let's go. Let's finalize. Pucker up and get ready, boys. We already take rage and we get slay. Good things are happening. We can even do mind collapse. Prismal dust as well. On what? This guy? I want my champion to take damage, yeah? Get this going. Give him trample. And let's go. He has rage and he's ready to go already. Beautiful. He's taking more and more damage. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let him take damage. In fact, keeping this guy in the back means I take damage for rage, which is perfect. Exactly where I want to be. And I could even do battery and ram here. This is a good battery and ram, actually. Ooh, this is great. This is a great turn. Great turn, great turn. Matter of fact, if I do Shade Splitter, this is an even better turn. I do want to do Alpha Fiend, so I have an idea. Give him Life Steal. Life Steal would be fantastic on this guy. Life Steal would be fantastic on this guy. Give this guy Damage Shield. We do mind collapse on this. I should have battery ram. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I meant to do battery ram to kill this guy, but that's fine. This works as well. I get a lot of rage. Now I have life steal. Furnace up now? No, no, no. But now I have no armor, right? So we gotta get slay. This guy's taking too much damage. All right, so we can we can solve this. We can put two fledgling imps. If we do fledgling imps, then what happens is I don't get rage procs. But if I put one fledgling imp, I do get a rage proc. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. If I put two fledgling imps, I do get. I don't get rage proc, but they both die, which is fine. And the problem is this lane needs to die, so. Um. And then this lane's dying. Oh, shit. Alright, one sec. Uh, maybe not doing bad ram last turn was. Mm. Right, let's take a look. Let's take a look here.
I can keep this guy alive with morsels, right? One. Two. I can keep this guy alive with morsels, but then I'm taking 30. I'm taking 41 pyre damage. I'm taking 41 pyre damage. Is that too much? I keep this guy alive with morsels, but then I'm taking 41 pyre damage. Now, if I kill this guy with battering ram, then I kill both of these shade uh, light wings, and then I take no pyre damage. So I'll be at 41. I'll be at two pyre health, which I can sustain back up. And I mean, if as long as I don't die, we're fine, right? The problem is not doing battle rain means that, again, I would have killed both of these. And we would have been fully healthy, but shit happens, right? Um, now, nah, let's check if we have numbers for all of it. So, one, two, three, four. Keep this guy alive. And I take 41 power damage. 41 power damage it is. 41 power damage it is. Two HP in a dream, no problem. We survive. Now the armor is coming in. And Jeremiah has never been more puckered up in his life. Now Batarinim is useful. I'm puckered up. I'm fired up. We survive again. I can already tell you we survive again. Ah, uh, game's over boys. We, we got through the hard part. What's up Sam? How you doing? We got through the hard part, everything's over boys. GG. We're bringing it home boys. The hard part's done.
Beautiful. You're doing it right. You had a crappy doctor's appointment. I'm sorry to hear that. And now the guy's getting armored out of his mind. He's slaying everything. He has 259 strength. I mean, I mean, he has 73 rage. My champion is gonna solo do carry because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna give this guy furnace tap and he's gonna solo do dolo carry. We got through the hard part and we are here. We haven't even got the the, the AOE sweeper here. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I can kill everything. I can kill everything here. If I do this, I kill the whole lane. I mean, it's fantastic right about now. Look, now this guy has even more armor. So now, battering ram becomes even beefier. Down here, my guy's getting life with the life steal. He has damage holds for days. He has 14 damage holds in that, to be exact. We have furnace. Now we do furnace type, right? Because we're approaching final wave. How do I know when final wave is about to happen? I don't know when final wave is about to happen, but I feel like it's approaching. So I kind of want to do furnace type now. And I think I want to do life steal on my champ. Because I gave my if I give my champ life steal, there's no way we lose, right? I guess I could give to Alpha Fiend. But he has damage shield, which is awkward, right? But if I, if I duplicate this, then I can do more damage. It doesn't really matter. I kill everything anyways. So, final wave is approaching, right? Because I'm going to do Furnace Tap. Do you guys know when exactly when it's approaching? I wish it told me. I, it's approaching soon. It has to be. So I'm doing this. Alright, Ember Drain. Here we go, boys. I can let that guy just go up to the top because I'm gonna kill him with these. I could kill him now, I suppose. You having ribs tonight? Nice, man. Was that like because we were talking about ribs the other day and you got, got got caught in your mind? I might as well kill this, whatever. Now my champion has a lifestyle for days. And the final wave is right here. I mean, here it is. Alright. Let's see if we could do it. It's George Carolyn. And GG, brother. GG. And just like that, we did it. Just me and the champion. What a roller coaster. And what a fun challenge. Because it gave me upgraded cards and I had to think about things a little bit differently because the upgrades make certain cards look a little bit better. And it also makes certain cards look a little bit worse. Because if you can't upgrade a card, well then the card is less reliable. And that was a fun, fun class, fun challenge. So here's the thing. I really like the Hellhorn, especially the new Wrathful Champion. I think it's very strong. Probably the strongest champion in the game.